Cartoon, cartoons. Welcome, one, welcome all to the Cartoon Network's 21st anniversary Royal Rumble. Sponsored by UCW and DCW, where the CAW stars of tomorrow earn their wings today. It's your boy, Triple Star 100 calling in the action. Right now, we got Judy Jetson and Buttercup, the toughest fighter of the team known as Puff, Puff Girls, engaging in the as first and second participants. Now they're going on a clinch battle. Oh, nice punch by Judy, but she had to reel back herself there. And another head, uh, head wrench. And this time Buttercup wins it with an arm drag. Oh, nice counter by Judy Jetson. And in the meantime, we got the third participant coming in there, the red guy. Look how much you can fame. Oh, nice smack by uh, Judy Jetson. Oh, but Buttercup retaliates with that nasty uh, round, um, half roundhouse kick there. And now she chops on the chest of Judy Jetson. And the red guy wants to take a little of that. And oh, nice hurricane runner by Judy Jetson. And she gets a forearms match against the red guy just for the heck of it. But red guy retaliates with a nasty suplex of his own. And drops the elbow for good measure. Now Judy and Red Guy clenching. Oh, Red Guy um, with that headlock and a vertical suplex. Landed her kind of bad in there. Now Buttercup picks um, Judy Jetson up and does does on the offensive against the Red Guy and tosses him to a corner. And, sh and Buttercup wants to make sure that Red Guy is the first eliminated in the contention. But Red Guy will not allow that to be so easy. And while that happens, we got the fourth participant in this rumble. None other than the master of the ten, the omniverse man himself, Ben Tennyson. Who wastes his little time going after Buttercup with that bulldog face buster. Now Ben picks her up. Ooh! Buttercup got out of the, the nickel time but couldn't um, reject Judy Jetson's uh, offensive strike. And this time she um, gets her off her um, chest. Meantime we got uh, Ben Tennyson crossing the chop on the red guy's and Puches there and that kind of sounded gay didn't it not that I have anything against um, the LBG community but you know what I mean here <laughs> here we oh nice punch to the stomach by uh, Judy Jetson to uh, Buttercup and red guy capitalizes kicking in the stomach of Buttercup as well and in the meantime we got the new participant the fifth in this contention Grim I still don't know how the hell he got permission from Billy and Mandy to participate, but hey, let's not ask too many questions, right? <laughs> now he's going after Buttercup's on neck, and oh, snap, man, being how tall um, Grim is, it would have hurt. Then again, Buttercup is a pop-up girl. She <laughs> the emphasis on the word power, so she can take it. Meantime, we got Red Guy trying to get Ben Tennyson out of the contention. Is he going to get it next? Nope. Four on smash by Ben to the Red Guy. And another one sending the red guy to the ropes. But red guy would not want to get knocked out like that yet. Oh, lovely hurricane runner by uh, Buttercup to Judy Jetson. Now picks her up and turns her to the corner. And now who's not coming in there? None other than my personal homeboy, Gumball. Coming down the aisle, becoming a sixth participant in this uh, 21st anniversary Cartoon Network Royal Rumble. And I apologize for all the pauses I'm about to make, but we we already know how hard rumbles are to call. Oh, knee to the nose from Buttercup right to Ben Tennyson. I don't care how old you are, how young you are, I don't care how slow you are. That hurts like hell and prevents you from breathing. And now, oh, Gumbo tosses our Judy into the corner. And now he's trying to put her in outside. And so the red guy with Grim. But Judy escaped. Oh, oh, come on, Gumball. Nah, you're more honorable than that. Come on. What's with the eye raking? You're more honorable than that, man. Oh, push to the face. From Buttercup to Ben Tennyson. And oh, power clothesline. They're feeling a power buff girl such as uh, Buttercup there. Ooh. And, and a punch by the red guy to Grim there. It's like death and the devil fighting in there in a way. But eh, let's put religion out of the way for a second. And now Gumbo. Gumbo's going to get it up. Nah, Judy Jetson rejects with that nice Alphonse match. Oh, Rush kicks. 
to the stomach from Rumble 2. Judy gets it. And in the meantime, we got Red got thrown again. I'm grim out of the contention. It, oh, how close was Buttercup. And now, Buttercup, is she going to get it done? But yes, folks. Ben Tennyson happens to be the first eliminated in this 21 anniversary continent with Rumble, courtesy of Buttercup, the toughest fighter in the Powerpuff Girls. Not so perfect, but you know the drill. Huh? Now, Gom oh, and now we got Gumbo and Buttercup I'm tagging teaming on Judy. Are they going to get it done? Yes, folks, the combined forces of Buttercup and Gumbo Watterson get Judy Jetson out of this contention and she better find herself a uh, time machine to go back to her future and Ben Tennyson is going back all the way to the universe because this is not their year what can I say and now the red guy is going to try to do the same with Grimm again it's like they don't want to switch partners or something. and oh nasty um martial arts round has 80 couples set up with that nasty um double knee into the chest and being that his own bone he hurts double for him I'll tell you that much and now Gumbo trying to get a uh, buttercup out of here and oh how close was that but I think he's gonna try to follow it up he's gonna get it done yes folks he does Gumbo Watterson gets buttercup out of this condition and poor buttercup is gonna have to make her way back all the way back to the city of Townsville and now, Rumble's playing it smart. He's letting Grim and the red guy um, have at each other for a while. And now he's going to want a piece of the action. While that happens, oh no. Oh crap, no, come on. Why him? Who the hell let this loser in this Rumble? Really? Giant freaking Bravo? Come on, man. Oh, okay. Just because he's at one of the originals, right? <sighs> I'm really gonna hate this part of the rumble, I'm telling you. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't like um, Johnny Bravo. And speaking of, of that, that guy finally manages to get Grim out of the contention, which is what he wanted to do all along. And now, Johnny Bravo going behind a red guy, and now he switch partners with Gumbo. I hope Gumbo whoops his butt, man. I, I really, I'm really hoping for that. And now he's grabbing the head. Oh, Johnny Bravo, Johnny Bravo goes behind it. Oh, nice nightmare by Gumball there. Now he goes behind Johnny Bravo. And Johnny Bravo retaliates with a headlock. And Gumball goes behind again. And now it's Johnny Bravo who hits that snapmare to Gumball. And in the meantime, calls one of, one of the all-time greats. One of the all-time classics. Also stemming from uh, the Cow and Chicken universe until he became his own. Ah, and whistle. Ah, and whistle. Yep, we got the we got the Braze and Braun all combined here in this Cartoon Network 21st anniversary rumble. Let's see how far he makes it. Now we got Gumbo wrenching on the red guy and here we go. Ooh, nasty neck breaker to the neck guy courtesy of Gumbo Watterson. And now we got intelligence against idiocy here as uh, Iron Whistle is contending against Johnny Bravo and now they switch partners. Red guy with a kick to the stomach of Johnny Bravo, making it easier for Iron Whistle to try to get him out. And in the meantime, we got another participant coming in there. It's none other than the resident cool guy over in Acme Acres, Buster Bunny, courtesy of Tiny Toon Adventures. Now we got uh, Iron Whistle pushing out Johnny Bravo outside. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh, how close was that? How close was that? I would have, I would have marked out right there if Jenny Bravo was kicked out. Now Gumbo gets chopped into the corner. Oh, nice evasion into that double kick. Oh, well, on the other circumstances, I will be uh, smitching and boning about uh, the eye rate, but Jenny Bravo's wearing glasses, so he deserves it. Now Buster Bunny try to get behind Gumbo, but Gumbo instead gets behind Buster and hits him with that nasty uh, suplex there. And while we have that, we have another participant coming down the aisle, straight off from the outbox of Brisbane, in Australia, comes my homeboy Blakey Bill. Gonna get there, he will beat all the bloody blocks to, <laughs> to the seven days of hell, I'll tell you that right now, boy. And we got Blinky Bill coming in there. 
In the meantime, we got all this action going on. Oh, another eye rake from Iron Weasel to the to Johnny Bravo, and somebody got bleeded. I don't know who. Oh, I think it was the red guy who got bleeded. Yep. And since the red guy is red, I don't think it will be too much too noticeable. But oh well. Oh, nice tilt the world um, backbreaker from Blake Bell to the red guy there. In the meantime, Johnny Bravo. Oh, he was thinking of getting um, Iron Weasel out, but. I was is just too small, perhaps the smartest person in this whole uh, in this whole uh, rumble right now until someone else comes along. And now Ooh Blake Bell just gets um, the red guy right outside. And now the red guy's gonna have to go all the way back to the pits of heckles with himself. Ooh, that's the jumping neck breaker from Johnny Bravo there to uh, Iron Weasel. And in the meantime. Is he gonna get it dead? Ooh, Buster Buddy almost uh, got a gumball out of this contention. But almost is not good enough. Now they clench again. Buster Bunny wraps on a um, gumball and ooh! Fist to the, to the face, right into the towel and buckle. And now, Iron Weasel's gonna try to get Blink a bit out of this one. And Gumball rejects that uh, attempt by Buster Bunny. But Blink a bit was not able to reject the Attempts by uh, Iron Weasel, and he's gonna have to go back to the outback. Sorry about that, Mike. Might be next year. Now we got Buster Bunny kicking the f kicking the chest of uh, Johnny Bravo. Now he's gonna try to get him out. Oh, almost did it, and now now he's gonna try to finish it. Come on, Buster! Yeah, yeah, kick his butt, Buster Bunny. Kick his butt. Kick his butt. And Johnny Bravo gonna get his ass outside. Sorry, man. It wasn't gonna, it wasn't supposed to happen this year. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Now we got Iron Wiggle just kick um Gumball into the corner. And um Buck the Bunny intercepted. And now uh, now we got another participant coming down the aisle. None other than Robot Boy. Someone who I'm not too familiar with, but hey. He was uh, he was scheduling the rumble, so I can't really say much. Now we got a lovely tilt the world uh, backbreaker by Buster Bunny to Gumball there. And now I am Weasel. Kick off. Roller Boy outside. And as soon as he came in, as soon as he left. That must be some kind of records. Uh, and let's just hope whoever comes next um, doesn't last that short. <laughs> oh well. He's going to have to go back to the future, I guess. Or wherever he came from. I'm not too familiar with the Roller Boy franchise. If anybody could familiarize me with him, then I appreciate that. And coming on the aisle now comes one of the all-time favorites of the Modern Cartoon Network, representing um, regular show. He calls Modern Guy. Oh, dude! Do me a solid and kick, kick butt. All right. <laughs> Here we go. And <laughs> kick butt he will. Now he's trying to stretch Bumble out, but Bumble knows that too long. Sorry, Bumble. There's no um, timeouts on this. And Buster Bunny almost got Iron Weasel out, but like I say, almost is not good enough in this one. Oh, nice martial arts kick, but oh, retaliation with an elbow. And oh, double retail by um, Buster Bunny with that twirling neck breaker. And a neck breaker of his own from Gumbo to Mordecai right there. And an elbow shot, another elbow shot. And a chop to the chest. And another elbow shot sending him to the back end. Oh, a broke kick sending Mordecai right outside. Whoa. I didn't know Gumbo was uh, into sh like, well, um, knew about the <laughs> I was wrestling like that. Oh well. Mordecai's gonna have to go back to that best park in the universe. Sorry dude, but uh, that's how it goes. And while Mordecai leaves, now we got another contender in this in this 21st anniversary cartoon that will rumble. None other than the Bunker's Beauty herself, Lola Bunny. And remember, don't call her doll, because right now, she will demonstrate to you why. However, I am Weasel just <laughs> picked her up and, she, and he's doing everything he can to get her out. Speaking of that, ooh, Gobble just uh, took the Buster Bunny uh, um, over and ooh, and he finishes the job. Gumbo Watterson just eliminates Buster Bunny out of this contention. And now he's gonna have to get himself back to Agni Acres. And while Buster Bunny uh, gets kicked out, 
Here comes just another day in the life of a boy. Another Johnny I can't stand. Johnny Test. Oh boy. Oh boy. What can I say? Well, let's just keep watching this contention between um I am Weasel and Lola Bunny. Ooh, another martial art. Oh, and Lola Bunny just got him out of herself. But that didn't do much now. He uh dropping the leg there and uh-oh. I think Johnny Tess is gonna finish the job of getting Gumble out of the Ah Nah Ah Come on Gumble, you're gonna put up a better fight than that Now we got this eight little idiot in here. Come on Now you're gonna try to do a dual effect with um Lola Bunny, is it gonna get it done? Then in the meantime we in the meantime we got one of the most sick, sadistic individuals in all of Toondom. The host of Total Drama Island, Chris McLean. And while he gets here, Lola Bunny gets tossed out courtesy of that little punk Johnny Taz. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to see Lola a little more. Two stick hips. That. Wait, let me just cut it out right there because then this thing will be going MA and he was stopping family friendly, right? <laughs> And now, ooh, Chris McLean being sadistic and evil there. Punching him. I am Weasel, like he does it again. This doesn't enter the ropes. And, oh, I am Weasel is just too smart to let someone like Chris McLean um, get the better of him. Ooh, elbow shot to Chris McLean's face. And in the meantime, we got it on the eye. Oh, nice blow by sending Chris McLean outside. Now he's going to have to get all his way back to Total Drama Island. And while Chris McLean gets kicked out, another favorite in the modern day cartoon network makes his uh, way, none other than Finn the Human from Adventure Time. Hey, did I do it right? Oh well. Ooh, nice uh, suplex from Iron Weasel to Johnny Taz. Yeah, yeah, kick his butt. Kick Johnny Taz's butt, everybody. Now we got Johnny Taz going behind uh, Iron Weasel, Iron Weasel. Cut over the head like that, even though. Oh! Elevator backbreaker there. Now he wrecks the ice of Finn. But uh, Johnny Tess for some reason um, say, uh, spare Finn a few more um, minutes there. And in the meantime, we got someone else coming down the aisle. None other than one of the favorites in the whole ensemble of the Teen Titans, Beast Boy. Dude! <laughs> And now he's gonna go against everybody in this rumble and try to win it for his team. Right now we got Johnny Taz going behind him. All right, we're going now. He double teams with Finn. Oh, come on, Finn. Why are you going to double team with that little moron, man? Come on. I thought you were better than that. And now Beast Boy picking on Finn. Ooh, martial arts kick. Oh, and a nice chop. I bet Robert taught him that one in the in the drills. In the drills and the um, you know, the morning exercises. What not, you know. So uh now we got Iron Weasel about to get out. We're about to get Jerry Tess out. What you gonna do it? What you gonna do it? Please do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Yes! Iron Weasel, yeah! Kick it butt, kick it butt! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! And now, while uh, Johnny Taz uh, gets unceremoniously get out of here, <laughs> comes another um, of the another of the modern Cartoon Network uh, great group representing Megas XLR. And by the way, uh, he wasn't able, he wasn't allowed to um, bring the robot. So yeah, Ooh, and we were gonna go for that double knee on um, Beast Boy, but Beast Boy read that telegram and got out of the <laughs> nick of time. That's definitely going to affect Iron Weasel's legs, I'll tell you right there. Speaking of him, he goes with the oh boy, my kitchen sink to Beast Boy. Meantime, we got a Flynn the Human flinging punches. Yes, pun, actually intended. But oh, Cooper is too big and strong, and he retaliates. And Iron Weasel just gets Beast Boy out of this contention. Ah oh, man, I wanted to see a little more of it here. Well, I guess it's back to Titan Star over him, right? Now he's going to pick on um, Coop and tosses him to the corner. And now Coop just gets out of that one. And in the meantime, we got another 
of the pop-up girl making her way to the ring. None other than the joy and the laughter of the pop-up girl. The lovely uh, Bubbles. And while she makes her way to the ring, we got Iron Weasel smacking on the back of our group and uh, Finn capitalizing on it. And goes with a pullback power slam. Whoa. Finn's been hitting the gym. I mean, picking somebody as big as Coop. Oh, and speaking of picking, we got uh, Iron Weasel up doing a uh, vertical suplex on Bubbles and screaming to the top of his box. I am Weasel! And hits her with a, 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 another suplex, this time with the normal variety. Now we got Coop giving a uh, perfect uh, kicks on, on the face of, J of Finn. Now Finn holding on the arm and now oh, a perfect uh, kicks of his own. <laughs> monkey the monkey do I guess? Now, ooh, Coop using his uh, own potential strength to get Finn out of the way. And speaking of strength, we have Bubbles trying to get Iron Weasel out of the contention, but that didn't work. And speaking of Powerpuff Girls, we got the leader, the de facto leader of the group, Blossom, coming down the aisle as the 21st anniversary Cartoon Network Royal Rumble Big Six Climax. Because, you know, we're running out of um, contenders anyway. This is a 20-man rumble. Well, 20-person, because he's a uh, man and woman combined. Literally, ooh, nice uh, jump breaker by uh, Coop to uh, Finn. And now Finn pushes him into the corner. In the meantime, Blossom got Iron Wizard in the corner. Is she going to get him out? Is she going to get him out? No, she doesn't. In the meanwhile, we got Finn wrenching the arm of uh, Bubbles. But Bubbles utilizing that. Those um, skills of... Excuse me, those skills of her. Those acrobatic skills of her to get Finn out of the, out of the way. And hits him with that um, arm snap mare. Meanwhile, we got Coop taking on Blossom. Ooh, nice ejection there. And another one. Now Finn uh, joins in on that front. And oh, oh Blossom was trying to capitalize, but Coop read that telegram and hit her with that, uh, with that arm drag. Okay, that's the arm flip, I'm sorry. Now we got Iron Weasel trying to get Bubbles out of the contention. Is he going to get it done? Is he going to... Oh, nice evasion by Bubbles with that knee to the face. Meant that we got Coop. Oh, uh, half uppercut. Hit. Oh, nasty uh, vertical suplex by Iron Weasel to Bubbles. Her head almost landed on the rope. That's a dangerous situation right there. And speaking of rope and dangerous situations, we got Iron Weasel pushing on... Uh, Bubbles out, but Bubbles rejects that. Oh, nice jumping leg uh, drop by um, Coop. <laughs> kind of acrobatic for a man that size, ain't it? Now we go, we go, we go. Oh, neck breaker with a power top. To a uh, Coop, and in the meantime, we got Finn the Human kicking our uh, Bubbles right out of this contention. And now she too will have to join Buttercup in her one way trip to the city of Townsville. Because this is not her year. Now out of the all the pop up girls, we only got Blossom left. And we got Finn the Human, Cook, and I am Weasel. Oh, nice throwback from Coop. Demonstrating ability despite his size there. And now, now we got I am Weasel pushing Finn. Is Finn gonna get pushed out? Oh, he hanged by a threat. But now, oh, now we got Iron Weasel trying to finish the job, but that didn't work. Oh, kick to the chest, and DDT from a Blossom to a Coop right there. And a lovely third the world backbreaker from Iron Weasel to Finn. And now Iron Weasel wrecking the eyes of Coop. And we got Blossom taking advantage of that and trying to push Coop out of the out of the contention but Coop just gets her out of her out of him I'm sorry meantime we got Iron Weasel Iron Weasel oh and again um uh, Finn hangs by the thread but it's Iron Weasel gonna finish the job yes he does and Finn the human will have to go back to uh, that dimension that uh, eventually that takes place of uh, this is not his year now Iron Weasel holding the head of uh, Coop Coop and Vitaly is going back with it Wrenching the arm, an uh, arm wrench, and uh, looking ahead, and now he tosses him into the corner. And he hits him with that nasty clothesline, and Coop is out of the contention. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we got the last two participants in this Cartoon Network 21 anniversary rumble. The intellectual superior Iron Weasel and the equally intellectual and ever so cute Blossom, the factor leader of the Powerpuff Girls. Now they will buy to see who's the last person in this one. I wait to uh, Blossom and now he's going to push Blossom out, out and try to make it into being the last person. He's going to get it done. He's going to get it done. And now he bolts it all. Oh, and she hangs by a thread. But now I am going to try to complete the circle. Is he going to get it done? Is he? Yes, folks. I am Weasel because the winner of this part of the world, 24 Rumble. You don't need pants for the victory dance. Because that was better than Weasel. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match. I am Weasel. I hope you enjoyed this as much as uh, we enjoyed doing this for you guys. On behalf of everybody at UCW and DCW, this is Triple Star 100. So, everybody, see you on the next one. Wait! I am Weasel! You don't need pants for the victory dance. Travel better than Weasel. I am Weasel!